So apparently, Ric Flair wants to trademark the phrase, the man. Woo! Rick is something else. Piece of work. 70 plus years old, and he's always looking for an angle. He's always looking for something. It always feels like he has something that he's trying to get over on people. The nature of being a professional wrestler. And I look at it like this. I'm not surprised. This sounds exactly like something that a Ric Flair would do. A very selfish thing, especially when you have your own daughter who is in a top spot within WWE, trying to go after um, financial gains for a phrase that you had been using for over three decades. Now that said, here's kind of the way I look at this, is that it doesn't hurt to try in theory. It doesn't hurt to try. Go after it. You're associated with that phrase for sure. You spent over three decades saying it. So as a result, why not try? What's the worst that's going to happen? Let's say you file for the trademark and it gets denied. Are you really out a bunch of money for it? No. Is it really going to hurt you individually as Ric Flair if you don't get it? No. So why not go after it? Very little risk from a financial standpoint and from a personal branding standpoint. And a lot of potential reward. You know, for a Becky Lynch or anybody else in the future that would use that phrase of being the man, you have the potential to get royalties from that. You have the potential to make money off of that merch that is sold featuring that likeness and that phrase and so on and so forth. And you look at Rick with some of the financial troubles he's had and that's been documented with the ex-wives and divorces and everything else and the fast living lifestyle. Probably the recent health scares aren't help helping here. Probably a bit of a worry about finances. Why not take a chance and try and get that phrase trademarked, especially with him signing the deal with Adidas you know, you're probably wanting to incorporate that into your air flare line. So why not? Why not, right? I mean, what's really the harm here? Well, there could be some harm here in terms of your daughter, Charlotte, is a featured, featured part of that women's roster and a featured part of WWE. She has worked hard to get there, even though I do not like her even though I think she is overrated as bricks, the bottom line is, is a lot of people do like her. And as a result, she is in that spot for a reason. Doesn't mean I have to like it or accept it. It doesn't matter. That's the point. Why would you do anything if you were any type of caring, loving father whatsoever that could even remotely have the opportunity or chance to potentially negatively impact her? Now, my belief is that the company would be wise enough to see that Charlotte has nothing to do with this, this is all Rick. You know how Rick is. You know how selfish he can be at times. We're not going to hold his daughter accountable for something that her dad did, which is the logical thing to do, which is a sensible thing to do. Charlotte does not deserve that. I'm pretty confident she has nothing to do with this. I'm pretty confident when Ric Flair says that she's mad about it, that you damn right she's mad about it because she thinks it's stupid and she thinks it's going to be something that potentially impacts Becky Lynch's push which as a byproduct could impact Charlotte as well. And Charlotte is right to think like that, in my opinion. But you must also know, Rick, who you're dealing with here when it comes to Vincent Kennedy McMahon. This is a guy that just because he's thinking a certain way about a certain individual right now, doesn't mean overnight he can't snap or flip in his perspective and thought changes entirely. And even if you think, well, he would never do that with Charlotte Flair, he would never, never, ever forget this, is that no matter who you're dealing with, the HNIC of all that you see when it comes to the WWE is Vincent K. McMahon. And there is a firm belief that he has always held that there is only one indispensable person when it comes to that operation.
There is only one person that the company can't do without, arguably the one person that is bigger than the brand, and that is Vincent K. McMahon. For better or worse, that's the perspective. And for better or the worse, that's realistically the reality because of the way he has structured things. So why would you introduce any type of risk, any type of opportunity, any type of chance for Vince to change his damn mind? Especially this increasing years, we have seen this play out more and more as he's gotten older and less patient. He's starting to go down that Al Davis type of path of where he is quick to change his mind like that, whether there is a sensible reason or not. He could wake up, Charlotte could sneeze in his general direction, and he hates sneezes, so he's going to sit there, we're going to bury your ass and teach her a lesson. Just why would you do that? Why would you introduce any risk or any element that could potentially impact your daughter? Now look, like I said, personally, from a risk standpoint, you don't really risk giving up a lot here in terms of it doesn't cost you much to go after the trademark. And if you get it, the windfall is overwhelming by comparison. But by pursuing it, are you potentially negatively impacting your daughter, negatively impacting Becky Lynch, negatively impacting other people on that women's roster and men's roster as well, which also negatively impacts Charlotte? I mean, Rick, what's the priority here? Is the priority yourself and a little bit of extra cash and a cash grab? Or is it your daughter? Because here's the thing. I'd be really surprised if this pans out. I'd be really surprised if he gets to a point where he actually has a chance of getting this trademark. So you have to be pretty sure that over the years other people have used the man phrase. And when you really truly think about it, how ironic it is, that a guy that flat out stole his moniker from somebody else in the nature boy, which is something he would be even more well known for, he flat out lifted and stole that from Buddy Rogers. How ironic it is now, all these years later, that he's mad because somebody else is using the man to identify themselves. Never mind the fact that we're in this age of Becky Lynch's <laughs> a top women's talent, but her current gender identity is the man. If that doesn't epitomize 2019 world, I don't know what the hell does. But come on, Rick. Give it a rest. This is about as silly as LeBron trying to <laughs> trademark Taco Tuesday. It don't hurt to try it, but maybe it does. And especially in your case, you're playing with your daughter's career here. Is that really the right way to go?